This video will explain why you should not buy a brand new Razer MX650. It's just not worth the extra hundred or two hundred dollars unless you really like the color black or yellow. As I suspected all along, all of the Razer 36 volt dirt bikes, the MX500, the SX500, and the MX650 are the same inside. They all have three 12 volt batteries and the same control module. That's why they all get the same top end speed about 16 to 17 miles an hour I also suspected this because I took my son's SX500 uh, bike last year I put a 650 motor on it and the speed the top speed was unchanged and the torque um, in the grass was I would say negligible now looking at the control module they're all the same they're the same model number HB 3650 coming over here to the red MX650 I picked up it's the same control module, HB3650. Coming over here to what people believe is the faster MX650. It's the same control module number, HB3650. Now, looking at the MX650 versus the MX500, the frames are identical, same material. Um, they're both made of steel. I checked them with a magnet. There is no reason why one has a rider capacity difference that is spec from the manufacturer. They both have the same rear shock, 165 millimeter shock that's just above the control module. Um, it protrudes into the battery box. So you'll see um, the SX for, or the MX frame has the exact same configuration, the same geometry, and it weighs the same. They're both 98 pounds. Now the SX 500 has a longer 200 millimeter shock that angles a little more vertical and it's outside of the battery box. The battery box um, is a lot more room because all of the battery trays are bolted compared to the MX frame where the upper tray is welded into the frame. Now, the fundamental difference um, between the SX and the MX besides the shock is the front wheel is larger on the MX frame. It's 16 inches versus um, 10 inches front and rear on the SX frame. The SX also has a uh, little knobbier tires compared to the MX, um, but both of those models are worth buying. I don't understand why this MX650 is 100 to 200 dollars more the same top end speed the same control modules same batteries it's just not worth it unless you really like yellow or black